All right, so today is the day that we find out whether or not this baby is a girl or a boy. And my kiddos are so excited. I was wanting to wait until baby was born, but my children have wanted nothing more than to celebrate their sibling and nothing more than to just, I don't know, like just pure joy in all associations with this child and just take any and every opportunity to, um, to celebrate this life. And so I'm joining right in with them and I'm like, you know what, it will make them happy to find out they're having a brother or sister and who's gonna, who's winning <laughs> in team because I have um, a boy, girl, boy, girl in that order. So right now we've got two and two. And um, so it's time to find out if we are going to follow the pattern or change things up a little bit. We did it on a budget because it was really for the kids. It wasn't a big extravagant party, but so hopefully you guys can even like pick up some tips and tricks on how you can do a cute little gender reveal and not spend a lot of money. Majority, if not all of the things that I got, I got from the Dollar Tree. So <laughs> including the confetti cannons, who knew they sold confetti cannons at the Dollar Tree? But um, all that to say, um, this is the entire setup, all the little things that we did to make it special and finding out, stay to the end, stay to the end to find out if it's a girl or a boy. But before you get there, let me know in the comments, what is your final guess? And we'll see if you're right. <laughs> so because it was a party for the kiddos, we decided to make it extra fun and special by doing a lot of pink and blue treats. So using food coloring and a bunch of different things that were easy to buy with food coloring, and a lot of shake, shake, shake it off from our two older ones, we were able to quickly transform it into just a fun, inexpensive gender reveal. All right, so all of the supplies that we got, got from the dollar store, I got these two clear bowls for the popcorn. I got, um, these for the marshmallows. Um, sorry if you can hear my kiddos in the background. Got a pink tablecloth and blue tablecloth. A um, couple of plates, two blue plates and two pink plates. Um, we even found these confetti cannons and so I got um, like four blue ones and then four pink ones so then whoever finds out the gender can just grab the pink or the blue ones and take out take it out and give it to us um, but you can't see the difference like you can't really tell what the difference is like they're just white too so there's that and then got these strings these decoration strings so this says it's a boy this says it's a girl not quite sure where we're gonna decorate but where we're gonna put those but and then we got some blue spoons and i don't know what we need knives and forks for i might return these i don't think we need knives and forks because everything we're using is more like kinder food um, and then I'll be wearing this, and that says mom to be. There's the other thing. That's all I got. I actually would not recommend these string decoration thingies. They came all wrapped up and all over the place. We actually ended up not using them because it was just taking too long to take them apart. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, we ended up making blue and pink jello as well, which I let the little ones get involved and mix it all together. And they were just so excited for the next day for it to be to turn from water to solid. It was kind of a science experiment, you know, 
always the homeschool mom. All right, guys, I need everybody one by one to tell me what your guess is, boy or girl. 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 Girl? I'm not making one because I don't want to get my hopes up. Okay, but if, if you were to get your hopes up, it would be a... So thankful for great friends who pretty much live by the mentality, see a need, meet a need. And so she was like, she came over, she's like, what do you need? What do you need me to help set up with? And just jumped right in and just um, started helping me set up because, you know, you can't do it all. <laughs> All right, so Wendy, something you have to know about decorating in Kansas is you always have to have tape because there's wind and the wind blows things. So do you have tape? We have tape. Okay, good. Where's the tape? That's a whole nother question. Well, worst case scenario, I can run home and go get some tape. No, we can see it outside. Okay, I'll look. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing, Shy Shy? Are you taking out the pink and blue popsicles? I love it. I guess Dorothy wasn't joking, but um, <laughs> it's so windy in Kansas. I thank God for heavy plates and bowls and different things to hold stuff down. Um, we eventually found the tape though, but <laughs> all that to say, it's just so sweet to see all the little ones pitching in and just helping set everything up. And they, are, they were so excited, guys. They were so excited. I was say, I didn't had no idea. Dollar Tree had so many gender reveal things. Me neither. I was gonna go get Hi, some pink and blue plates. Hey, baby. The only thing I was pink and blue plates. Girl. Right okay, I got this costume. Even Thank though you. I just call it. What is big it? Tape. What do you call it? Big, big tape. tape. Big tape. <laughs> big tape. That makes sense. Oh, now wait. Sure. Quick. You need a marker. Statistics on this one. They're almost half and half already. Aren't they are. They're exactly half. This Shoot. is the tiebreaker. I was like, man, Actually, I. Was... But there is a pattern. Actually, it's a boy. There's a pattern. Because there's a pattern. Yeah. By the pattern, it should be a boy. Boy, girl, okay, then boy, I girl. boy, because I'm going statistics and pattern. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Annie. I like boy. a good pattern. <laughs> what about you, Clarissa? Boy. Boy? boy. Yeah. <laughs> Carver, boy or girl? Boy. Boy. So if we're taking votes, I think it's a boy. And I think that just because in my past experience, 
women who are pregnant with girls tend to be a little crabbier, and I don't think Wendy's crabby enough to have a girl, so I think she's having a boy. I'm so shy Right here, your name, right here. Yeah. It really doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Right here. But like, so Kayla, both both what do you think? Do you think it's a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Uh, a girl, yeah. We have more girls. That's why I wrote it. It's because of the most? No, it's because it's a girl. It's, it's, it's a, a girl. It's a type of girl. I told you, Katie. I need more information before I vote. Girl pregnancies tend to be a little harder for me. Yeah. Boy pregnancies, hey, I'm hey, amazing. Hey. Like, it's the yes. best time of my life. And uh, you know that it's, it's been a little rough. It's been a little rough. It's been a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. Does anybody else voted? But this could be the, the plot twist. She hasn't voted. Yeah. Yeah. And Mark hasn't voted either. He'll be back. All right, you're voting what? For a boy. Okay. Nobody knows, Nobody knows at all. When he's leaving, he can't and I don't even get to know you're not filming it. My reaction, but <laughs> you think you have a good poker face? No, I have a terrible poker face. As you can see, it was a bag of mixed emotions. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Let me know in the description where you write about your guests. We are so excited to welcome our new baby boy. 